Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Silent Core and welcome back to another Black Ops 3 video. So in this video I'm going to be showing you how to create a pretty cool camo uh, using the kind of paint shop that's inside of the Black Ops 3 beta. So I assume if you guys have been playing the beta so far you probably know how to do this, but if not you just um, hit the options um, button when you're at the main menu here and it pops up this screen and you can go into the paint shop through here. And you'll also notice there's a few other sort of greyed out areas that aren't available in the beta, um, such as the gunsmith that will be available in the full game. So once you get into the paint shop, you'll see a list of pretty much every weapon you can use in Black Ops 3 that you can customize with your own skin. So that's everything from all the main assault rifles, the SMGs, and even your combat knife. And you'll see here in just a second, I sort of mess around and try and create my Silent Core logo on the knife. And if you weren't already aware, in Black Ops 3, you don't actually always carry your knife. You have to actually manually select your knife as your secondary. But I've got to say, with the camo, these knives look pretty badass. So I've sped up the gameplay in the background, I'm going to be designing a rainbow camo on the MAA7. And you guys probably saw it in the thumbnail of this video before you clicked on it. So to start off, I got a bunch of rectangles and kind of placed them all the way along the gun. And I really like this gun because you can basically colour quite a lot of it, whereas some of the other guns you can only um, colour a very small segment of it. So this one you can pretty much colour all the way along the top and now uh, you can get a nice long rainbow strip. If you guys didn't already know, you can also use gradients, so um, once you hit triangle to go into the colour picker, you can then hit square and you can actually gradient colours from one gradient to the other. However, I found when I did this, the colours were really dull. I really liked the, um, the straight colour picker because it makes it a lot more bright and colourful and uh, a lot more rainbow-esque. So as you can see, I've got it going from red all the way to purple. And then to do the camo part of it, I just added a load of these sort of flame um, decals onto it and kind of placed them over the seams of each colour just to make it look like it's kind of fading into each different colour. And as you'll see, it's starting to look pretty nice. Now this isn't the sort of camo that you'd actually want to take in a war because it's probably not going to hide you very well, but it does look pretty awesome and I'm sure um, while you're in game a lot of people are going to be checking out your gun. With most of the guns, you can not only colour this side, but you can also colour the top of it and the right hand side of it. And to be honest, this is going to take a long time because the copy and paste options don't seem to work very well in the paint shop. I really hope that they do maybe some, uh, some sort of patch or fix this by the main game because copying camos over, you have to do each piece individually and then it doesn't mirror to the opposite side as well, so you have to reposition everything. And it really is just a huge hassle trying to replicate a design on the other side of the weapon. So yeah, I do hope they add some sort of bulk copy and paste option in the full game. So the paint shop's pretty similar to the emblem creator that you guys might have used in previous Black Ops games. And I've got to say, I absolutely love checking out um, people's creations. People sometimes design really funny stuff, and some people are pretty damn good at making sort of cartoons and stuff on the side of their weapons. So I'm looking forward to seeing what kind of cool stuff people can do with this. Let me know in the comments what you guys think of Black Ops 3 so far if you have tried it. Don't forget to leave a like on the video, and I'll see you guys in the next one.